Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Yawar, for those kind words of introduction. Well, it's great to be here in London, uh, a city I've got to know very well, especially as I've led the business here over the past four years. I have to say, it's a great place to work. I wouldn't necessarily trade the weather with Spain, but I'm beginning to appreciate the refreshing rain showers. Well, we've got lucky so far, but I think they're on the way. Uh, so well, but speaking seriously, uh, it's a privilege to have the trust of the chairman and the board. And I'm very fortunate to step into the role with SWIFT in great shape, thanks to the excellent record of my predecessor, Gottfried. For me personally, I've been 24 years in the company, and I don't think there's ever been a better time to work for SWIFT. We have an extremely resilient core, and at the same time, huge opportunities to innovate to ultimately allow you to grow market share. And as Yawar mentioned, as a society, our use of technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace. Taking another few examples, this is a, this is a good one from the skincare industry. Now 3D imaging, now driving shopping habits. And that's a pretty good one as well. It's a startup who converts plastic bottles into winter jackets, bringing essentially innovation and sustainability together. And maybe after receiving uh, your USB backpack in Sydney last year, this week you brought your smart luggage with you to help you stay constantly connected. Well, we heard it. The Cybos team is all about doing business in a hyper-connected world, after all. And of course, in our industry, as global payments and securities markets continue to grow, rapid shifts in technology are creating massive change and big dollar investments, particularly in transaction banking and cross-border payments. That opens up many new ways to provide banking services, whether that's via big tech platforms like Alipay, FinTech new entrants, driven by open banking, and or global card players that are expanding beyond retail and into business segments. Well, I, I'm sure many of you have some of these apps on your phones today. Actually, uh, for financial institutions, there are dynamics of both collaboration and competition, creating a healthy tension to offer the most compelling customer channels the best client experience, and execute payments faster than ever before. So this big acceleration in the front end means that the underlying infrastructure that sits behind had to become more agile and increasingly more interconnected with this growing number of apps and customer channels. And yet, crucially, these infrastructures also have to remain just as reliable. So when I think about SWIFT in this context, so it is our job to offer the industry a best-in-class platform. This is what we're known for, so that you can rely on us and focus on the front end, on acquiring new customers and growing share through new services. But at the same time, we could, we could say that we have become essentially a two-sided platform for the financial industry long before anyone was talking about platform economics or Google or Amazon. Actually, actually our, our model of connecting providers and users at scale is fairly similar. And like these tech players, we need to focus heavily on innovation to keep that scale and relevance. And I think there is no doubt that we have been innovating. And GPI is a perfect case in point. Today with GPI, more than half of all international payments now reach end beneficiary customers within minutes. And as real time becomes the industry standard for domestic payments, I'm convinced that we can also take that ambition to the cross-border space. This week, for example, 
we're launching GPI instance that will hook up GPI with real-time payment systems. And of course, with banks playing a front and center role. We've done some uh, trials with payments moving across continents, account to account, in just a few seconds. So yes, international payments in seconds. But we are not going to stop there. Our vision is to become an instant global network for cross-border transactions, which means creating an even more efficient and interconnected payment system that enables our users to transact from account to account anywhere in the world in an instant. And across all the world's currencies with full transparency of fees and FX rates. So yeah, instant, frictionless, and as seamless as domestic payments. That is what we're working towards. And with uh, actually GPI tracking, we are also now helping the industry to reduce settlement risk and improve liquidity in capital markets. But I have to say that while innovation and speed are important, there is also a flip side. With challenges like cyber and compliance here to stay, we need to keep our feet firmly on the ground. And so that's why, with this challenge in mind, for us at SWIFT, it's all about both innovation and risk management. Basically, about responsible innovation. So our platform is reinforced with a major focus on cyber controls, on uh, fraud detection and prevention capabilities, on compliance tools, and data analytics. Basically, we focus on making sure that we maintain these highest levels of resilience, security, and compliance, backed up by very strong oversight. So the simple rails of the past have evolved into smart rails and an even more open and trusted community system that is fast, safe, and compliant. So, but uh, of course, uh, with uh, all of this puts us on the right track, but with uh, some up and downs, ups and downs on over the last 40 years in the fintech game, we have learned clear lessons along the way. Today, when we roll out something new, we check that it brings customer value, that you trust the technology that lies behind, that we support it well, and that it can scale. And that is what being a grown-up fintech is all about. So yes, as I was saying, all of that puts us on the right track, but with this explosion of choice in the market, our vision is to be the reference, not just in B2B payments, but also to help our customers, our members, reuse our platform into other services. To use an analogy, it's a bit like in many cities around the world where new restaurants start popping up. They're usually located in one trendy area, close to each other, so that customers are bombarded with new choices to go and try out. Shoreditch, uh, just on the road here in East London, is a great example. In fact, full of both fintech and restaurant startups at the same time. Actually, a great place to visit while you're here. But behind all the attractive branding and design of these new restaurants, what do we really know about the restaurant's kitchen? Does it have fresh, healthy ingredients, great hygiene standards, skilled chefs, or state-of-the-art equipment? And if the dish isn't good, can you send it back? Back to Swift, and the point is, it's like we have created this great kitchen together, that is adding fast and healthy new dishes 
that the whole industry can use to provide great services to their end clients. But with a whole array of very compelling front ends out there, we cannot expect customers themselves to be worrying about double clicking of what is happening in the back of the kitchen. But we, as a community, we should definitely double click on that. So in cross-border payments, there are many mobile apps uh, with uh, very appealing front ends uh, that have a couple of delivery options for the underlying infrastructure. It could be good to read the small print because even with the same speed of delivery, there may be differences in quality and customer service. Obviously, we don't know necessarily what lies behind them, but we do know what lies behind SWIFT. We are, an in, we are a global network for the financial community, and as Yawar mentioned, we have a proven track record of delivery. So, in short, I think, I think we, we know that you, both banks and fintechs, have alternatives in the back end. But with this combination of both innovation on the one hand and robust compliance and cyber controls on the other, we are perfectly positioned to be the reference platform to help you stay ahead in the battle for the front end so that you can offer the best, best in class customer experience to your, to your end clients. And we can make it happen by exposing our infrastructure through APIs to your apps and customer channels. And as I said, not just in our B2B traditional market, but also in e-commerce, person-to-person payments, remittances, or even potentially white labeling in some segments. So that is what energizes me as I take on the job. And as we start to define the next phase of our strategy with the community in the months ahead. I've already been having positive discussions on this with several financial institutions, and I see it as a clear direction of travel. And our innovation agenda isn't just about payments, by the way. With APIs gaining strong momentum in the securities ecosystem, we are looking at how they can be a powerful enabler of change in the post-trade space as well. So there is clearly deep transformation on the way in our industry, which is an opportunity for us all. And what better place to talk transformation and gain inspiration than here at Cybos? I was thinking last week that I've been to the last 19 editions, but London, will really be a special one for me. With an exciting agenda ahead of us, an enormous thank you to the team for creating such a unique event. It's great to feel part of it, and I wish you all a fantastic week ahead. Thank you.